In this tutorial, we are going to go through subtraction of two digit numbers using the vertical format. Right, let's start with a nice easy example. What is 47 minus 24? 47 minus 24. Now, to use the vertical format, we have to write these numbers down in columns. So let's do that. 47 minus 24. Let's put a nice big equal sign at the bottom. 47 minus 24. We can label these columns. First one is units. The one next to it is the tens column. Now, in order to work the answer out using the vertical format, also known as long subtraction, because we are minusing, we simply minus the columns one by one. We always start with a column on the right-hand side. So let's do this. What is 7 minus 4? 7 minus 4. That's right. The answer is 3. Now we subtract the tens column. What is 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2. That's right. The answer is 2. And we have our answer. 47 minus 24 is 23. Do you see how easy it is to subtract two digit numbers using the vertical format? Let's work through another one which has slightly larger numbers. So what is 88 minus 45? 88 minus 45. Let's write these numbers down in the vertical format. 88 minus 45. Let's put a nice big equal sign. We can label them again, units and tens. So again, we subtract one number from the other number, column by column. We start with the column on the right hand side. So what is 8 minus 5? 8 minus 5. That's right, it is 3. Now we subtract the tens column. What is 8 minus 4? 8 minus 4. That's right, it is 4. And that is our answer. 88 minus 45 is 43. Nice and easy. But what if this number, this digit, is larger than this one? How do we work it out? Well, let's go through this. What is 56? minus 28. 56 minus 28. Now let's write this down in the vertical format very slowly and very carefully. 56 minus 28. Nice big equal sign. Now we can label these again if we want to. Units and tens. So again, what we do is, we start with the column on the right-hand side. What is 6 minus 8? 6 minus 8. Well, the number 8 is larger than the number 6, so we can't do it this way. What we have to do is, we have to take a 10 from this number here, the 5. 
I'll show you how this is done. What we do is we put a cross next to the 5, we count down 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, and we put the 1 here. What we have done is we've taken a 10 from here and added it here because this number 6 is smaller than this number 8. Did you understand that? Let's go through it again. We start by subtracting the column on the right hand side first. So 6 minus 8. We can't do that because 6 is smaller. So what we do is we take a 10 from here. We cross out this number and minus it by 1. 5 minus 1 is 4 and the 1 we have taken here we add it here. It now becomes so now we go back to subtracting the units. It now becomes 16 minus 8. 16 minus 8. Do you know what the answer is? That's right, it is 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. We now subtract the tens column. We're not subtracting 5, we're now doing 4 because we have taken 1 and moved it there. So the tens column, what is 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2. That's an easy one. It's 2. And that is our answer. 56 minus 28 is 28. That looks a little bit complex, a little bit difficult, doesn't it? But once you get the hang of this, it's very easy. And it's a very useful resource when calculating slightly larger numbers. Let's look at one more example. What is 64 minus 39? 64 minus 39. Let's write these numbers down in the vertical format, in columns. 64 minus 39. Let's put a nice big equal sign. Now we can label the columns. I'm not going to, but you always can. So let's do this. We always start with a column on the right hand side first. So what is 4 minus 9? 4 minus 9. Now, we can't do this because 4 is smaller than 9. So do you remember what we have to do? We have to take a 10 from here. So let's put a cross next to it and minus it by 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. And where does a 1 go? It goes next to the number on the right. So 4 minus 9 we couldn't do. So what we did was we took a 10 from here and this went from 6 to 5 and we put it here. So now we can do the number on the right. What is 14 minus 9? 14 minus 9. That's right, it is 5. Now we subtract the tens column. What is 5 minus 3? 5 minus 3. That's right, it is 2. And we have our answer. 64 minus 39 is 25. And it is as simple as that. This looks a little bit difficult if you're doing it for the first time. But practice with a few numbers and you'll soon get the hang of it. Always make sure you write the numbers in nice, neat columns. That way you can subtract the uh, columns and come to the right answer and the teacher can see what you're doing and will give you the maximum points. So that is subtraction of two-digit numbers.